Hey everyone, so as you may know, The Sims 4 just released some more details about their upcoming kit called Modern Menswear Kit. And while I'm no Sims news channel, I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at this kit since the promotional images actually feature um, some masculine Sims wearing some more traditionally feminine clothing with skirts and things like that. As somebody who makes trans Sims within the game, this is kind of interesting, but also kind of not interesting. So I just wanted to kind of go over my thoughts and feelings about this and hear what everyone else was thinking about it. I'm not going to read everything about this kit word for word to you, but I did find it interesting that they were claiming that these new designs are pushing the traditional style boundaries. And if you remember, this was actually hinted by them in the original Seasons of Selves promotion on their Twitter, and I believe this made it across some of their other social media, and the call it was around them defying borders and boundaries. So the idea being the first few kits, since that they were uh, talking about a lot of culture stuff, that they were defying borders, and then this one is also supposed to be defying style boundaries. The Sims 4 website also has an entire blog post about the kit, which I will link to in the description below. And after reviewing everything for the announced details, I have some pros, some cons, and some overall thoughts about the kit. Um, if we take a look here, we can see, first of all, this kit is based mostly off of a single designer, which is Steven or Stefan Cook. And the items themselves look pretty good. There seems to be a lot of like knit jumpers and things like that, as well as um, some skirts that are featured in the back here. Some actually really short skirts, which I was surprised to see. In terms of the pros for this kit, I would say it's pretty cool. They went with a real designer. So you can see some of the pieces on Stefan's Instagram as well. Um, and you can see what was made into the game from there. I actually like some of the pieces that are included, especially this knitwear, the jumper that was, I think, on the original image too. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pictured here. I like this one a lot. It kind of goes with my style mostly because it looks like an oversized sweater, which is pretty much what I wear. And in terms of quality of the actual assets, it looks pretty good. If you look up some of the pieces in real life, you can see that the transition into the game looks very accurate. And moving on to the cons for this one, I would have to say my biggest con was the fact that they really positioned it as like stretching and defying style boundaries. I feel like that's more of the positioning for the actual brand itself, like the clothing brand. When in practice, I wouldn't consider any of these items to actually be boundary defying when it comes to fashion. They're pretty regular items, I would say, at least here in North America. And honestly, with an image like this one for promotion with the skirts and what appears to either be a skirt or short shorts with leggings, it almost feels like queer baiting for me. Surface level, I don't think about it too much, but when I'm actually thinking about my opinion of this kit, it feels kind of strange. Mostly because like these are the two items that are used that are very like, I would say feminine and we're, yeah, positioned as like pr pushing the boundaries of fashion. And then meanwhile, the actual assets that we get are like sweater vests and other sweaters and jeans and stuff like that. It just like feels kind of weird for me for this to be the promotional image. Because on the flip side, if these items were released for the feminine frame Sims, like I don't think any of this is boundary pushing at all. So I would argue that it is not boundary pushing in fashion. It's just the idea that they put it on the masculine frames. Because even when you look at some of the promotional images for these clothing in real life there's also like women or feminine framed people if we want to talk that way that are wearing these items so really what's being boundary pushing is putting it on a masculine frame which is something that is already a feature in the game it's just not executed so well so i was at first pretty excited when i saw this image i was like okay cool they've actually made more like feminine style clothing that'll fit properly on the masculine style frames of the sims because right now there's quite a bit of issues especially with the feminine shirts on a masculine build where like i don't know how to describe to the top part just always looks weird whereas i feel like the skirts where it's a feminine skirt on a masculine frame sim they look totally fine so getting like this red skirt which honestly this might be all one piece now i'm thinking about it um is not like that life-changing in my opinion because i think i could easily recreate even a simple look like this where it's a white sweater on top and then one of the skirts that we already have and it'd be the same thing. And even calling this a modern menswear kit, I just don't know. Like, I like I don't 
think menswear and then picture like gender non-conforming clothing it just seems kind of weird like like i don't need skirts and dresses that go under the masculine tag in the game to get these looks so it just seems like i don't know i guess redundant to what's already in the game and instead of improving what they're considering to be boundary break in fashion by just making the feminine clothing fit better on masculine frames it's like here's some paid content geared to do that and like honestly don't get me wrong like i'm not up at night losing sleep about this i just feel like it would have been cool to position this differently i don't think this is modern menswear everyone who's out there saying they don't have enough men's clothing in the game is not being satisfied by this and at the same time like people who are looking for like gender boundary breaking down whatever clothing in the game are also not going to be satisfied by this because it's just the same content as if we were to take the feminine tagged clothing and put it on men. But I think most of my qualms with this is just the positioning of the kit. At the end of the day, they also position it as redefining London classics. I'm not from London. I've never been to London. I don't know if people in London are like, ah, oh, yes, this is the modern men's streetwear that I was really waiting for. It's just like some of the wording around it that I just don't like. I will also note that I pretty much never buy video games when they're not on sale. So maybe I'm not the right target audience for this because I'm not going to spend $5 for this. Would I like this content if it was given in base game? Probably. Would I put it on my Sims? Probably not, to be honest. I don't see anything super practical in here for any of the Sims that I traditionally make. And I will say, originally when I was reading like all the hints that they had about this kit coming out, I think I made it bigger in my head than it is. Because when they said defying fashion boundaries, what, what I actually had in my head was like bringing to the game some of the iconic fashion moments that happen. I'm not super up to all my fashion moments, but like to me, that'd be something like including Billy Porter's Oscar dress into the game as like a men's formal wear option. Or even doing something as silly as putting one of the croc collabs into the game. Or like other iconic men's fashion moments that happened in real life, translating that into The Sims. I know it's quite hard to do that because obviously they're collaborating with the designer to get like permissions to put it into the game and things like that. So it'd almost be like a knockoff version if they tried to take some pop culture and put it in. But if you're going to say that you're defying fashion boundaries, I really picture something huge like Hunger Games styled outfits or like even something as simple as like Catherine O'Hara and some of the stuff that she's doing with her fashion and if we're thinking about a menswear kit i would have thought it'd be something like the traditional men's streetwear or something because i feel like there isn't all too much of men's like you know that like hype beast style tactical wear and things like that yeah like doing some classic men's look maybe even incorporating some more like layering these cross body bags like like a more relatable fashion that people would actually wear instead of these pieces that feel more like statement pieces that won't be able to be used for everyday outfits. And then don't market it as defying fashion boundaries. You just market it as like, you know, a proper menswear kit. But honestly, I think that they could have done anything with this menswear kit and I'd still be a little bit skeptical because the community, of course, has been complaining about the fact that there isn't enough menswear outfits. So then putting it behind a paywall, it's always going to feel a little bit scummy. Ultimately, I don't think that I was the target demographic with this one. When they're hyping it up as fashion that defies boundaries, I almost did feel like I was the target audience because I'm pretty interested in that. But at the end of the day, maybe the way that I play The Sims doesn't actually benefit from this since I just let my Sims wear clothing from any of the categories as long as they don't have that weird um, issue with it not looking properly on them. If you have any thoughts about this pack, let me know in the comments below. And if you're subscribed, I'll see you on Wednesday with the next episode of our Transgender Challenge.